We're very grateful for your presence, uh, especially Madam CEO. Uh, thank you very much for being here. We know it's been a very long week for you, and thank you very much for taking the time to be here. Um, it's been a, a, a very long process uh, negotiating this, this MOU, uh, but much faster than I think with most organizations. Uh, RDB is um, uh, very effective. Uh, they get a lot of really good work done very quickly. It's been a pleasure to work with you all. Uh, I just want to give you uh, the opportunity to say a few, wor uh, say a few words if you'd like. Um, we'll give uh, uh, Curtis Lockhart, the, 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 the executive chairman, uh, the executive director of Charter Cities Institute, an uh, opportunity to say a few words as well. And then we'll go ahead and we'll sign the MOUs. Okay, thank you very much. Um, it's very good to see friends uh, around the table, um, people that I've met in different you know, places, including E. I hear that's why they call you. I know he can't pronounce your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, so um, we, we met Curtis and the team. I think we'd been in touch a few months before September, but I think we really had a real meeting in September when we came for Onga. And of course, uh, for us as Rwanda, this made sense because, you know, if you follow what's happening in Rwanda, I think really trying to do urbanization properly is something that we very much uh, value. And it's it's so many pieces. And, you know, yeah, you know, you're looking at regulations, legal, you're looking at engaging, you know, creating a platform to bring people together um, that are interested in, you know, building, you know, stronger cities. And I think that really resonates with us and what we're trying to do in Rwanda, which is why we were able to seize the opportunity to work with you and create a partnership uh, that we will be, you know, consummating today, if I can put it that way. Um, but I, I think that it's this is just the beginning. I think the more important um, work is what we get to do together, who we bring on board as partnership, who we mobilize, and, you know, different resources that we can bring to be part of this coalition. I think that's really the real work that has a lot of value. But what I can say on behalf of the government of Rwanda is that when we commit to do things, we really want to do our best to, to get successful. And um, so you can count on us on that partner that is going to work to make it successful. And so let the work get started today. So thank you to the team that put this together. And thank you to everybody that has come to be part of this. Uh, so let's, let's get started. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for your remarks, um, Madam CEO. Uh, thank you so much also. I know you've had a very hectic, very busy week, you and the Rwanda delegation, so we appreciate you taking the time at the tail end of the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. Um, we also, I mean, I've said this multiple times, but I gotta ask you to send the thanks to your team at the Rwandan Development Board. They've been so diligent getting this uh, finalized agreement, this partnership, uh, ready for us to sign in person here on the sidelines of the summit. So please, Dennis and Colette and the team, please tell them thanks. And then I gotta say thanks to Seti and Lawrence and the <laughs> Rwandan Embassy Thank team. You. I know this was last minute, you guys were very helpful and hospitable, so thank you very much. Um, Charter Cities Institute, uh, our mission is to create new cities with empowered governance to lift tens of millions of people out of poverty. And we want to do that by creating new charter cities, new cities with new rules. Mm -hmm. And we think nowhere is that more needed than in Sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. If you look at the trends this century, uh, over the course of the next three decades to 2050, some one billion additional people are going to move to African cities. Uh, and so therefore, you need to have uh, innovative thinking around urbanization outside the box thinking. Mm -hmm. And this is why we could find no better partner than the government of Rwanda and Rwanda Development Board. Um, Rwanda, they are innovators. Uh, people look to Rwanda across the continent as a place with cutting edge policies. Uh, a place to find best practices and see if they work in their own countries. And so we couldn't be more proud for this uh, partnership. The other area that uh, is a lot of alignment is around urbanization. We know that within uh, Rwanda's 2050 vision, uh, one of the key pillars is around cities and urbanization. And so seeing the alignment there, this was a, a match made in heaven. Um, the particulars, just a couple of particulars about the partnership. 
um, three elements in particular, we call them the three C's. Uh, one is coalition, then conference, then city catalyst uh, fund. So on the coalition, um, we're happy to be uh, alongside the Rwandan Development Board and Rwanda Finance Limited, a uh, founding member of the Next 50 Cities Coalition. Uh, through this coalition, we'll help spread this innovative model of urban governance uh, and urban development across the continent. Uh, second, on the conference, uh, we're happy to co-host uh, with the Rwandan Development Board, the Global Charter Cities Conference at the end of 2023 in Kigali. And then uh, lastly, thirdly, uh, the Next 50 Cities Catalyst Fund uh, will provide early stage seed financing and advisory for nascent new city projects. And so we're really excited for that. Mm -hmm. So with that, I mean, without further ado.